Low Advanced Class and Adult Purple Through Black. This is a Purple Through Black Belt class. It's Monday, September 21st. I got one thing to say to you. Who said it could get cold out? I was not ready for this, okay? I, I, uh, I was done with the 95 degree heat. I was done with the humidity, but I was not ready to, for frost on the ground and to be freezing in the mornings. And, and I'm fighting the urge. I'm refusing to turn my heat on. I'm not turning the heat on yet at the house. Not yet. Okay, but I burn, 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 burn. No, I have not. Okay, guys, I hope you had a good weekend. It is testing week here at Leading Edge Martial Arts. I want to remind everybody what your requirements are for testing. First of all, you have to be eligible for testing. That means you must have at least 45 classes on your current car, current level. At least. When I say at least, that means that's the minimum number. So if you're at 42 classes, please don't ask us about testing. I want you to have significantly more. The bare minimum is 45 classes. And the bare minimum is four months at your belt level. Please, I don't care how good you are. Don't ask me about testing until you have four months at your level. Because you need to absorb, absorb and digest the curriculum, digest the training. So it's 45 classes, four months minimum. And then you have to have a thorough knowledge of the curriculum. Every fighting combination, every self-defense, and every grappling technique from white to your current level. You cannot kind of know it. You have to be sharp to pay attention to details. Okay, remember, martial arts and being a martial artist is not about the belt you have around your waist, but it's the knowledge in your mind and the fight in your heart, okay? So we're gonna get right into fighting combinations today. Defensive stance, set. Yeah. Purple belt fighting combination number one. Front punch, step through back punch, spinning back fist, back punch, yeah. ki. Again, front punch, step through back, step like this, reset. Front punch, step through back punch, spin back fist, back punch, ki. Yeah. Again, front punch, step through back punch, spin back fist, back yeah. punch, ki. Red number one, double jab, back, jab, spin back fist, step through elbow, yeah. again, double jab, back, jab, spin back fist, step through yeah. elbow, <clears throat> double jab, back, jab, spin back fist, step yeah. through elbow, round number one, double jab, back, uppercut, Inverted elbow, back fist, jab. Double jab, back. Uppercut, inverted elbow, back fist, jab. One more time, double jab, back. Uppercut, inverted elbow, back fist, jab. And black number one. One, two, hook to the head, hook to the head, hook to the body, hook to the body. Uppercut, uppercut. Again, one, two, hook to the head, hook to the head, hook to the body. Hook to the body. Uppercut, uppercut. Notice how there's always a hand back in her face. We're never hanging those hands. One, two. Hook, hook. Body, body. Uppercut, uppercut. Yeah. Let's get a good 25 reps of your level on both your left and your right. And then I highly encourage, guys, highly encourage, go back and review all of your previous levels, guys. It's the only way we do this. It's the only way we know this. Fact, that brings me to our match at. Repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the mother of skill. The way we get good at things is by doing them over and over and over and over and over again. That's why we practice the same stuff so often. Now, I know that takes some of the fun out of learning something new all the time, but I'd rather you be really, really, really good at a few techniques than kind of know a gazillion techniques. We have to thoroughly know our curriculum and be good at it. When you do something a hundred times, you know how to do it. When you do something a thousand times, you can do it without thinking about it. When you do it 10,000 times, it becomes instinctive. It becomes yours. You own it. Repetition is the mother of skill. Go back and train. Train. I don't care if it's white number one. And do that a thousand times. Just train. Because that's how your martial arts will be there for you when you need it. Repetition is the mother of skill. All right, we're getting into our self-defenses now, guys. Purple number one. Let's go on this side, set my belly. Okay, defensive stance set. Back yeah. up, please. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna do a back leg front kick, except my dad is gonna move at one o'clock on the octagon. He's gonna underhook my leg. The most important part is get out of the way. Don't get hit by this kick. From here, he's gonna do a palm strike to the solar plexus or to the face. He's gonna grab, if I have a gi, he can grab the gi, he can grab the back of my neck. He's gonna take a baby step in with that leg so he can get his leg behind my leg and he's gonna twist me down to the ground. Make sure you guys break ball. Punch the groin with the left hand, or right hand. Throw the leg, come up to the head, punch yeah. the GI again. Back up, please. Palm strike, grab, baby step, step behind the leg, set him down, up, hit, throw. Kia. Kia. Obviously in the street, this would not be letting someone down, you would be shoving them and sweeping that leg out hard. Palm strike, grab, <laughs> step behind my leg, and set me down. Punch the groin, throw the leg, punch the yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Red number one, this is a challenging one, guys. Lots of details in this one, so pay attention here. Okay, so first I grab a shirt. So my belly's gonna grab a lobster claw grip. Now, his lobster claw, the thumb, is between the pointer finger and thumb. The fingers wrap around the hand. Okay. Who will kick? That loosens my grip. Now he's going to turn my hand over on his chest. He doesn't take it off his chest. He wants the back of my hand on his chest. He's going to step in. He wants my elbow bent. Now, there's three points of pressure here. He's rotating it up. He's pulling in and down on my elbow. And he's pressing with his chest. Good. After I tap, he's going to relieve the pressure. He's gonna lift straight up on my elbow. Now he's got this window here. He's gonna push my hand through there. He's gonna walk in behind me, keeping his arm vertical, reach around my neck and choke. <coughs> Again, kick, turn it over, keep it on your chest. That's important. A lot of you guys pull it off and put it back on. Keep it on your chest. Three points of pressure, lift. You're gonna pop the hand through that window, keep that arm vertical. I mean like vertical, keep that arm straight up and down. I'll walk around, reach behind. Ugh. His arms are a little short for me. Let's go this way. All right, knuckle oh. <laughs> Look at the lobster claw, kicks, keeps it on his chest. Boom, good, that pops that elbow up, pushes that hand through that window, and then behind, and chokes. Okay. When you guys do, I'm gonna demonstrate real quick here. Let's go this way. <clears throat> this pressure is important. Lift, pop. See how this arm is vertical? This arm is trapped in there. And with someone that's a little bit bigger, you get a good choke on you. Okay. okay. Round number one. Let's go here. You grab palm to palm. That's right, palm to palm. Applies pressure, steps in, descending elbow. Reverse elbow to the head, right into a guillotine choke. Okay, again. Descending elbow, reverse elbow to the head. Guillotine choke. Now, when he does this, look here, guys. He's grabbing his own wrist, not his hand. I got this arm out of the way so you can see. Pull this arm off for a second. This arm's across, this arm out of the way. This arm's across my throat. Now, this one comes in and grabs his own wrist, bends his knees, and arches his back. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Grab a knife. Black belts. We're going to do a variation self-defense technique here. My hands are going to be up here like this. I'm going to pivot from the inside here and clear this weapon. I'm going to come in a circle underneath, right into a wrist lock and right into a take pad. Okay? Watch that again. You got a warning. No warning. I'm not going to warn the bad guy. Oh, I'm not a bad guy. Yeah, some days. Okay, so again, watch. So I'm creating a rotation. I'm creating a circle. Instead of pivoting this way, like we do in blue one, I'm hitting the inside, guiding it, and coming right into, and I'm, I'm ending up in my butterfly grip there. And I'm going to use the momentum of the circle I've created and a step back to rip him to the ground. So here. Oh. Bang. And take the knife. Again. Like 
clear, circle, right into your lock. So you're not actually grabbing until you get to here. Now right here, when I get to this point, I'm gonna continue his momentum with that step back. Okay? Watch from the other side. I'm making contact, wrist to wrist, guiding it. Look at the butterfly grip. Okay? Last time for this one. <clears throat> Okay, bang, took it right from you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed today's training. Don't forget, Friday is our graduation. Drive-by graduation is at 5 o'clock. Black belt tying ceremony at 5.30. We encourage and ask all our black belts to be here, whether you're graduating or not. The graduation is for our February 29th graduate, uh, students that test for the black belt on February 29th. It's been a while, guys, but you've earned the belt tying. Thanks for being Lima Strong. We'll see you online, and we'll see you on the mat. Peace.